So today we're going to do a bit of an experiment, Troy, where we're going to show what we've got here is we've got 200 millilitres of uh, just plain vinegar and that's sitting at a pH of about 2.5 currently. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add 50% uh, caustic soda, 50% strength caustic soda, and we're going to see how that affects the pH of the product and the volume and just talk through that. So what I'm going to do now is, um, and obviously you've got to be very safe handling this as it's a very high alkalinity alkalinity product, uh, we'll just add our 10 millilitres. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got vinegar that's sitting at about a pH of 2.5, and we've got here a 50% caustic soda solution that we're gonna add 10 mils of this caustic solution to the vinegar to raise the pH. So we're gonna do that now. So what we're going to demonstrate now, Troy, is that there's no buffering with caustic. So if you overdose, you're going to have incredible problems with your plant. So we're just going to go milliliter by milliliter now. We're just going to add it. We're going to just have a look and see what it does to the pH of the solution. So what we've just done is we've added, um, gone up by one millimeter increments. And so we hit the 13 milliliters and that's sat around a pH about 6.5. So it's fluctuating 6.49, 6.51, 6.5. All it took was an extra one milliliter and it's now skyrocketed up to 12.15. So if you're that inaccurate or just slightly inaccurate, you can send your whole treatment process way out of balance. Yep. So, uh, what we're now going to do is we're going to do the test with our uh, Calix's Acumane product. This is our 60% slurry. Uh, and as you can see, there's a few differences. The, the requirement for all the PPE is not as, as necessary as the other products. Yep. This is a product that can be touched, can be handled, and isn't corrosive. So, what we've got again is we've got the same vinegar. And what we're going to do is we're going to add six milliliters of this product. And we're just going to have a look at and see what it does to the pH of this solution. So as I said, like feel free, you can dip your finger in and you can touch it. It's not going to burn you, it's not going to do anything. All you have to do is just wash it off once you're done and away you go. So we're just on five minutes um, and so what we've seen is it's buffered out about 8.36, uh, which is fantastic because what that means is, unlike the other like caustic, you just add a little bit more and it skyrockets through. Right? So if you're going to um, accidentally add some product to your network, you're not going to have some um, bad consequences really. But what I am going to do is just for the, for the show of it, I'm going to add another six mils to the solution, so 100% overdose, and see what actually happens to the pH of this product. 15 minutes. So we're 15 minutes into the um, the test, and so what we've seen is just stayed stable about that 8.7 mark. Um, and now we're going to add the extra six mils in there to see what uh, the overdose, overdose looks like to a peak. So this is 100% overdose. Let's just see the results. Okay, so we're back now after um, some time with the 100% overdose of the MHL into the product. And you can see here that the pH is macked out at about 9.09. It won't go any further than that. So if you do have an accidental overdose in your network, you're not gonna have the extreme disaster that you're gonna have with the other products that we just played here today. So this is another one of the benefits of our ActiMag product. Not only is it easier to handle, you have better reactivity, it stays in suspension, but you can also, if there is an accidental error, you won't have so many consequences that your treatment process is completely off the creek. To summarize what we've seen here today, we've compared the caustic soda with the Acti Mag. So the caustic soda did increase the pH, but it 
an overdose by only one millimetre sent the pH up to an unacceptable level that would hinder the treatment process. So, but whereas the ActiMag, what we saw was the pH did buffer, it got to a level that was acceptable for the treatment plant. And then when we increased the dose by over 100%, the pH didn't go through the roof and cause issues downstream. So we also have the comparative volume that we used, where it was almost half of the product, or half of ActiMag, compared to what we had to use for the um, caustic soda to get the same result. So while it may be a per gram cheaper to buy caustic soda, when you look at the whole treatment process, the ActiMag product comes out on top. Bye, Calix.